Hello, my name is Dr. Adam Oxios. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to apply a posterior splint. Similar to the modified Jones compression splint, I like to use a light layer of compression prior to the posterior splint material being applied. This is great because it helps us manage edema, and my residents know that this is vital if surgery is to be performed in the near future for that patient. The materials needed for the splint are 30 to 40 inches of 4 inch wide splint material, 5 rolls of 4 inch wide cast padding, and 3 rolls of 4 inch wide ace wrap. I suggest making a heel pad with one of the cast padding rolls and hydrating the splint just prior to starting. Remember, warm water on the splint will cause it to harden faster. While applying the splint, try to keep the ankle at around 90 degrees with a foot in a neutral position. This holds true for most cases, however, consider each unique situation. Start with one roll of cast padding and apply a one to two layer thick wrapping from the forefoot up past the injury. It is not vital that you get this layer up to the knee. Your next layer is the compressive layer. With the first four inch wide ace wrap, use graduated compression when applying it from the forefoot up past the surgery. Make sure this layer isn't too tight, just snug. At this point, we apply the heel pad. Using the rest of the cast padding, evenly apply to the leg, going up to two finger breaths from the popliteal crease on the back of the leg. We are now ready to apply the splint material. Be sure to keep reminding the patient to keep their ankle at 90 degrees and neutral, especially during this part of the splint. With the 30 to 40 inches of recently hydrated splint material, apply to the plantar foot with the splint material extending roughly one centimeter past the tip of the hallux after being folded. Extend the splint behind the heel and up past the calf, making sure that the folded end is roughly four finger breaths from the popliteal crease or four centimeters from the back of the knee. While maintaining the foot and ankle at 90 degrees, apply a four inch ace wrap to fasten the splint material to the foot and ankle. Skip the heel while the splint is drying and this will prevent dog ears from forming in the corners that could end up irritating the patient. The last 4 inch ace is applied from the knee down and completes the splint. While the splint hardens, make sure you continue to help the patient keep their ankle at 90 degrees and in a neutral position. Once hardened, you can go back and cover the heel. So, now that your splint material is hardened, go back and recheck your work. If you skip the heel as I instructed during the video, cover it now with the 4 inch ace. Remember, if you did an ankle ORIF in the OR, or whether you sutured up a laceration in the ER, your dressing on the outside is a direct reflection of your work on the inside and should not be overseen. Take it seriously. I appreciate you watching my video. If you liked it, please subscribe and follow me on social media. Stay tuned for more podiatry content coming your way. Thanks so much.